we will do whatever we need to do to make sure that our kids and our families and that family is accommodated. A father and son killed in an accident this morning. His dad was taking his kids to school. A little girl in the car survived. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. I'm Mandy Knoll. The crash was early this morning. The police say a Jeep flipped over on 6th Street near Wilson Avenue and tonight a community in shock in mourning. Here's 27 First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti. State troopers were just in the first hour of their investigation of this morning's fatal crash when administrators in the Lowellville schools were already talking with students and staff and notifying the community through social media. Since then our phones have been exploding. Messages of prayers, thoughts, and sorrow are be going out for the entire family and school community. We've learned 41-year-old Mike Pickett of Camel and his 11-year-old son Marcus were killed when their Jeep crashed at the bottom of the hill where 6th Street intersects Wilson Avenue. 12-year-old Lena Pickett was also in the SUV but not badly hurt. Our crash reconstruction unit will help us uh, answer a lot of questions that right now are still unanswered. Marcus Pickett was in the fifth grade at Lowellville and his sister was in the sixth and authorities tell us they were on their way to school when the crash happened around 730. But in a district with less than 600 students and staff, the grieving will be widespread. You got to be open with them and honest. You got to look and monitor every single student because every student reacts differently and every staff member reacts differently. Crashes like this can also take a toll on those called to the scene to help. Dealing with children involved in any tragedy is uh, arguably the worst part of the job. Troopers admit their investigation will take time to complete. School administrators tell me they will offer counseling for students and staff for as long as it's needed. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. And we will continue to follow this major local story as police continue investigating. You can look for updates anytime on WKBN.com.